Hi, and welcome to Mother Nature's Touch. I'm John Bailey. To give you a heads up today on what we're making, we're making a jewelweed salve. Now, jewelweed, as we know, is good for poison ivy, poison oak, all those different poisonous plants and stuff that we come in contact out on the hiking trails. So what I like to do is have a little bit of the salve. And you see I have already the herbal salve. Now what I did is I infused um, olive oil with jewelweed. I uh, picked right uh, from the wild uh, here on our property. And I also have one ounce of beeswax. And for this, it's all you're going to need are those two to help with poison ivy. But I do recommend, if it's a severe case or you do have an allergic reaction to it, to seek medical help. Don't try to self-diagnose yourself unless you know what you're doing. Because in the long run, you'll do more harm than good. So, these are just educational videos to help you kind of get started and treat milder cases in the onset of something when it does happen. So, you'll see that I have 8 ounces of olive oil infused jewelweed. These are our containers right here. These are two ounce uh, containers. And this is a four ounce amber glass jar that I will put the rest of my material into when I don't have any more containers. So over on the stove here, we have uh, our water getting ready to boil here and my glass bowl. Can't afford a double boiler, so you have to make do with what you have. No problem with that. This way it has a higher rim and um, the water won't splash over into my mixture once it gets going. So once this gets hot enough to we can start melting the oil, the beeswax, then we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. All right, my water's coming up to a boil, so what I want to do right now is go ahead and pour in my one ounce of beeswax. Let's get that melting. It's going to take a little time, so once that's melted, we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So an important note I want to point out to you is that if you're making your salve and you've got your water too high, more than likely your water is going to evaporate faster than your oil or your wax. So what you want to do is just turn it down to a medium and, you know, so you're not burning up your water. So now that we've got all of our beeswax just pretty much melted in there, what I want to do is go ahead and pour my 8 ounce cup of oil into that you go, oh, look at that. That's what happens when cold oil hits hot wax. So. Now what we want to do is let that all incorporate once again. Just give it a good stir here. Kind of break up this little bit of matter on top. Eventually this will all break down and become even again. And when that happens, we'll be right back. Alright, now you see that our oil and our beeswax wax has all been incorporated now. Now it's now to be transferred back into our Pyrex cup so I can easily pour it into our containers. So I'll show you what that looks like. Now we've transferred our oil mixture into our Pyrex. Kind of hard to juggle the camera here and get these lids off. Now you don't want to spend too much time, if not, the stuff's going to harden up on you, which is already starting to do. Um, you can always add in essential oils and stuff to make it smell better or, you know, that kind of thing. It's really up to you. So what you want to do is go ahead and pour that right in there. And 
Okay, so I have a little under <coughs> a half a cup left. So what I'm going to do is just pour it right into this four ounce container, so I can save it for next time that I need to make other smaller batches. <coughs> and then what I'll do is I'll just take this little bit and put it into another container. But that's pretty much it as far as salve making. Salve making is a way to protect your uh, medicinal herbs uh, into beeswax and such. So I encourage you to have fun with it and play with it and explore your wonderful world of herbs. Because remember, there is always an alternative to the other stuff. Thank you.